In Cottage Grove are investigating a house fire as an arson case. The home went up in flames last night, and as NBC 15's Sharon Yu explains, this isn't the first time this has happened. For the second time in less than three months, this house in Cottage Grove was set on fire. There was a fire at the same residence um, back in December, on December 8th, that our investigators did determine to be an arson. According to records, Howard Nyberg, a registered sex offender, was set to move into the house. Nyberg was found guilty of second-degree sexual assault of a child back in 1994. As you can see, the house is located right in a very central area in the middle of Gaston Circle here in Cottage Grove. Neighbors in the surrounding area say they are shocked to see something like this happen, even with the given circumstances. It's kind of shocked that this would happen here, you know. I, I understand people don't want someone to move in with that background, but, you know, vig vigilanteism isn't good either. But some neighbors have another view. They're working to pass an ordinance that prevents the town from renting or selling homes to sex offenders. They've been handing out flyers because they're worried about property values and children in the neighborhood. The Dane County Sheriff's detectives are still investigating the scene. In the meanwhile, neighbors are reevaluating. There's a lot of kids and grandkids in this neighborhood and I don't know if there's a way to better evaluate where you maybe put these people or that ratio of children is less. In Cottage Grove, Sharon Yu, NBC 15 News. Now the first fire resulted in $90,000 in damage. Repairs were made and Nyberg was getting ready to move in soon. Well now the sheriff's office says the home is considered a total loss.